प्रैक्टिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन यू यूनियन एंड इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू सेट्स इन अर्लियर सेक्शन वी हैव लर्न अबाउट यूनियन इंटरसेक्शन एंड डिफरेंस ऑफ टू सेट्स इन दिस सेक्शन वी विल गो थ्रू सम प्रैक्टिकल प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू आवर डेली लाइफ लेट ए एंड बी बी फाइनाइट सेट्स लेट ए एंड बी बी फाइनाइट सेट्स इफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इक्वल टू फाइव then n a union b n a union b number of elements in a union b is equal to n a plus n b that is this is set a and this is set b since a intersection b is equal to 5 therefore they are disjoint sets so n a union b a union b is this a union b that is n a plus n b n a Plus n b, it is n a union b. The elements in a union b is either in a or in b, but not in both a and b. So as B is equal to five. Now, set A and set B. Set A and set B. This portion is A intersection B. This is. A intersection B and this portion, this one, this is A minus B, this one, and this is B minus A. This is a minus b, a intersection b, b minus a. So n a union b, n a union b is the union of all the elements in a minus b, a intersection b, and b minus a. So a minus b. A intersection B and B minus A are disjoint, and their union A union B, therefore, and A union B, it is equal to n A minus B and A minus B. This one. Plus n a intersection b plus n a intersection b plus n b minus a n b minus a. This is n a union. Add and subtract n a intersection b n a minus b. Plus n a intersection b 
प्लस एन बी माइनस प्लस एन ए इंटरसेक्शन बी एंड माइनस एन ए इंटरसेक्शन बी वी हैव एडेड एन ए इंटरसेक्शन बी एंड सब्ट्रैक्टेड ए इंटरसेक्शन नाउ व्हाट इज एन ए माइनस बी प्लस एन ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इट विल बी एन ए दिस होल एन ए विल कम so n a minus b plus n a intersection b it will be n a plus n b minus a plus n a intersection b it will be this one b minus a plus a intersection b it will be n b this so n b minus n a so n a union b is equal to n a plus n b minus n a intersection b similarly if a b and c are finite sets if a b and c are finite sets then n a union b union c n a union b union c equal to n a plus n b plus n c minus n a intersection b minus n b intersection c minus n a intersection c plus n a intersection b intersection so n a plus n b plus n c n a plus n b plus n c minus n a intersection b minus n b intersection c minus n a intersection c plus n a intersection b intersection c so so when a and b are finite then a and a union b is equal to n a plus n b minus n a intersection b when a b and c are finite sets then n a union b union c is equal to n a plus n b plus n c minus n a intersection b intersection minus n b intersection c minus n a intersection c plus n a intersection b intersection c exercise 1.6 exercise 1.6 if x and y are two sets such that nx is equal to Seventeen and and y is equal to twenty three. And x union y equal to thirty eight. So we have to find out and x intersection y. So we know that n x union y is equal to n x plus n y minus n x intersection y equal to n x is seventeen plus. 
plus n y is 23 and x union y is 38 minus n x intersection y. So 38 is equal to 7 plus 3 10, 2 plus 2, 4 minus n x intersection y. So n x intersection y equal to 40 minus 38. So equal to 2. Now question number 2. Question number 2. If x and y are two sets such that x union y has 18 elements and x union y equal to 18. x has 8 elements that is and x is equal to 18 and y has 15 elements and y equal to 50. How many elements does x intersection y have? So, and x union y is equal to n x plus n y minus n x intersection y. x union y is 18. 18 is equal to n x is 
it will be 450 minus L H intersection E. And H intersection E is equal to 450 minus 400 equal to 50. Therefore, 50 people 50 people speak both Hindi and English. Therefore, 50 people speak both Hindi and English. Question number 4. If S and T are two sets such that S has 21 elements. So, S has 21 elements. S has 21 elements. T has 32 elements. And T. 32 and S intersection T has 11 elements and S intersection T it has 11 elements. So how many elements does S union T have? So and S union T is equal to N S plus N T minus N S intersection. N S is 21 plus 32 minus 11. So it will be 53 minus 11. It is 40. Question number 5. If X and Y are two sets such that X has 40 elements. X has 40 elements. X union Y has 60 elements. And X union Y 60 elements and x intersection y has 10 elements and x intersection y it has 10 elements so how many elements does y have so say formula and x union y is equal to nx plus n y minus n x intersection y x union y is 60 n x is 40 n y minus 10 so 60 is equal to 40 minus 10 it is 30 plus n y. So, n y is equal to 60 minus 30 equal to 30. Therefore, y has 30 elements. Therefore, y has 30 Now, question number 6. Question number 6. In a group of 70 people, 37 like 
कॉफी एल सी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सेवन थर्टी सेवन फिफ्टी टू लाइक टी एल टी इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी एंड ईच पर्सन लाइक्स एट लीस्ट वन ऑफ द टू ड्रिंक्स सिंस ईच पर्सन लाइक्स एट लीस्ट वन ऑफ द टू ड्रिंक्स देयर फो एन सी यूनियन टी इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी सो हाउ मेनी पीपल लाइक बोथ टी एंड कॉफी बोथ टी एंड कॉफी so we have to find out the intersection of c and t so n c union t is equal to n c plus n t minus n c intersection t now c union t it is 70 nc is 37 nt is 52 minus nc intersection t 70 is equal to 989 minus nc intersection t now n Is equal to 89 minus 70. It is 19. Therefore, 19 people like both tea and coffee. Therefore, 19 people like both. T and coffee. Question number seven. In a group of sixty-five people, forty like cricket, ten like both cricket and tennis. How many like tennis only? and not cricket how many like tennis so in a group of 65 people that is n c union t is equal to 65 40 like cricket n c is equal to 40 Ten like both cricket and tennis. Ten like both cricket and tennis. It is C intersection T is equal to ten. Now we have to find how many like tennis only and not cricket. So from C union T. If we subtract N C, we we can get the number of people who like only tennis, not cricket. This is C. This is. So we have to find out this tennis only, not cricket. So from union. Of C union T, from C union T, if we subtract M C, we can get this portion. 
number of people who like tennis only and not cricket so number of people who like tennis only and not it is equal to n c union t minus nc nc union t it is 65 so 65 minus nc is 40 40 so 65 minus 40 it is 25 so 25 people like only tennis and not cricket one more question is there in this how many like tennis so how many like tennis two ways are there either you apply the formula nc union t is equal to nc plus nt minus c intersection t or in this you add c intersection t you will get this portion that is n t so number of people who like tennis is equal to so tennis it is and c union t is equal to nc plus nt minus nc intersection nc union t is 65 so 65 is equal to nc is 40 nt minus nc intersection t is 10 so 65 is equal to 40 minus 10 it is 30 plus nt so nt is equal to 65 minus 30 is equal to 35 therefore number of people who like tennis equal to 35 equal to 35 so question number 8 50 people speak french 20 speak spanish and 10 speak both spanish and french how many speak at least one of these two languages 
at least one of these two languages so we have to find out the union so in a committee 50 people speak french so n f is equal to 50 20 speak spanish and s is equal to 20 now 10 speak both spanish and french and f intersection s is equal to 10 it is given now how many speak at least one of the two languages so at least one of the two languages so n f union s is equal to n f plus n s minus n f intersection s so equal to n f is 50 50 n s is 20 20 and f intersection s is equal to 10 so 50 plus 20 it is 70 minus 10 so 60. Therefore, 60 people speak at least one of the two languages. Therefore, 60 people speak Language.